the coral reefs off the coast of Florida are in trouble. We're looking at a, a localized extinction event. Most of the reefs are near 100% coral bleaching, which means that the coral is still alive, but it's very stressed. But many corals have died, killing at least one entire reef. The cause? Extreme heat. Seawater temperatures off the coast of Florida this week hit 38 degrees Celsius, like a hot tub. The water has reached levels that they almost never reach. And the fact that they've reached these levels now with still presumably the two hottest months of the summer yet to come is really terrifying. These critical ecosystems help secure food, tourism, and shoreline protection from storm surges. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says these extreme heat events will become more common with climate change. And this year, El Nino will further warm the Pacific. We're very concerned right now that this could turn into a, a global event. He's watching satellite data that suggests coral bleaching events are not just hitting Florida, but reef systems around the world. Sea surface temperatures are going to reach levels that are going to cause coral bleaching every year for the majority of the world's coral reefs, beginning somewhere around the years 2040 to 2050. So in a situation where you have annual coral bleaching, you're essentially creating a scenario where the coral is never going to have a chance to recover. Now marine scientists in Florida are in a race to save as many coral strains as they can, pulling them out of the ocean to the safety of dryland tanks, which could be used to restore the reefs. That gives us hope that you know, at least not all will be lost. We do this kind of work to show people that there is still a fight that's going to be made for these ecosystems. A fight for the ocean and the life within it. Philip Lee Shannock, CBC News, Toronto.